Uh, who wants to learn some Japanese? Sure. Seems reasonable. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Here's the Japanese we're going to learn today. We're going to learn kapamaki and we're going to learn tamago sushi. Oh, that sucks. That sucks? <laughs> uh, 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 Why does that suck? You know, We've got a lot of opinions today. Yeah, yeah. Z-Way's very opinionated today. Yeah. Okay, everyone who's holding white stones, hold up your hand. Burr. These are your teammates. Come on in. These are your teammates. You are on team kapamaki. Kapamaki. Kapamaki means cucumber little dumpling sushi. Of course it does. I don't know a whole lot of Japanese, so. So, team cucumber. Okay. Cucumber sushi. Which sounds well, like it's, it's right maki, so it's it's the roll. It's, it's a cucumber roll. Cucumber roll. That's that's what that means. Close, okay. Close. Uh, our black team, hold up your stones. Okay. Yeah. You guys are tamago sushi. Team tamago sushi. That means egg. Egg sushi. Doesn't sound good. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> you fry up some egg with some soy sauce and wrap oh, yeah, it in yeah. seaweed over rice. Great. Okay. So, you guys are on team. Are you guys aware of this? Yes. Kapamaki. Kapa team Kapamaki, team Tamago Sushi. Tamago Sushi. And you guys are sort of playing against each other. So we're playing this team against each other. They're playing, they're playing the teams against each other today. Ooh, that's cool. And I want you to know that right now the teams are tied. So it's a very, very intense kind of game. It turns <laughs> out that at this moment, the teams are tied at 12 points apiece. <laughs> But they're going to play a game to settle this. We're going to see if we can break the tie by playing a game of Go. And we'll start with the black team, and then we'll go with someone on the white team, black team, white team. We'll alternate people, so we'll go around the room. And everyone's going to play one move for their team for every eight moves or so. so okay? Okay, that will be fun. After you make your move, one of four things can happen. So this is some session. Four things can happen. If I do not feel like your move is up to your level of skill, and I do understand we have some more beginner kind of people here tonight, right? What's your name? Tim. Tim. Welcome, Tim. I'm Nick. How's it going? And how long have you been playing? Um, I don't know. Not a couple months. A couple months. I even months? Just, okay. just played a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to rate your moves based on your skill level, okay? So if you make a bad move for your skill level, here's the thing that can happen, number one. I take one of your points. I eat uh, it. That sucks. That yeah, sucks. Yeah, Don't yeah. lose them. Those are yours. <laughs> okay? Those are your, your team's points. So if you lose them, you lose them for your whole team. Oh. The second thing that can happen is I feel like you play a move that's maybe just about your skill level. Maybe just, just shy of being a good move for your skill level, but in the realm of okayness. In that case, you have to keep your points. Nothing, nothing else amazing happens. Third thing that can happen, I feel like you make a move that's above your skill. You make a really good move. Guess what happens? I think I'm playing. You get a new stone, you get a new point. Watch, I want minus and then... Minus plus, minus plus. Yeah. I know exactly how your turns are going to go. <laughs> we know this from the fact. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth thing can happen, you make a really good move. Like you play, you play a move that I feel is significantly higher than your skill level. You get two stones for your team. Oh, I thought we'd have stand up and cheer. Oh, you can do that too. Is that like, <laughs> is that like the, the ear reddening move? If you play, well, <laughs> yes, if you play, if you play the ear reddening move, if we play out that game and you play the ear reddening move in this game, two stones. Just two, <laughs> two points. If we play that game. <laughs> okay. So, all right, hey, remind me, remind me of the teams, Team Kapamaki, White Stones. Kapamaki! One, two, three, and who's the fourth? Can we get a slogan going? See, right? Kapamaki! You guys can put <laughs> slogan. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, so I don't have the same players. Uh, playing after the same player every time. I'm going to try to randomize it after every eight moves. So this is just going to make it more confusing, but we're going to try to do it anyway. <laughs> and conversely, for the black players, we'll try to do the same thing. So it'll just, so if, if, if we get to eight moves, maybe someone can like count. <laughs> and someone's like gone twice in a row, like not in their turn order. Just like, give me that. Like, I missed, I did miss my move. Right? I played like three of the four last four moves. So that shouldn't happen. Okay. Tim. Yes. You're going to make the first move. Hey. And you can shout it out. If you want to come up to the board, you can come up to the board, too. But... I want to come up to the board. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> but you're on the black team. Oh, Why don't you play the first move? I'm going to play it real safe. Real safe? Oh, nine dawn professional move. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Traditionally, right, you play in your top right-hand corner, right? 
Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. There's something new every day. That's new. Why? Take a stone. No. Take a stone. <laughs> Feels arbitrary. Oh well, it's it is arbitrary. But here, here's why. You know, this is a really good question for new go players. Like, why are you supposed to play your move here? This is silly, right? It's all symmetrical. Well, the idea is that Go is a game where you're communicating with someone, right? It's a civil game, it's a game of culture, it's a game of society, it's, it's a game where people come together. And because of that, there's this element of politeness. And not making your opponent reach across the board is actually seen as very polite, at least in the first move, especially in Japanese culture. It's a little bit different in China and, and Korea. But especially in Japan, uh, it's, it's seen as an act of politeness. So when you play over here, uh, you're really, I mean, I mean, your opponent, assuming your opponent's right-handed, and your opponent's sitting across from you, right? So your opponent's sitting up here, stand on this. This is a good idea. I, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> right? He's going to play there. But most often, and more often than not in Go, we don't want to, we, we usually play on the same side as our opponent for other Moyo type reasons. Uh, so let's say to lead to more possible variations. I'll say that. So anyway, this is more traditional. And the next move will be in this corner is, is more normal. But you can also play there, too. But this, the thing is, it's both, it's both times on the right. And you're inviting your opponent to come play on the same side of the board as you, right, with their easiest move that's closest to them. That's all. Not a big deal. So amend this move, and we won't say so, anything more about it. Uh, you will not get any stones awarded. <laughs> we won't lose any, either. Z-Way. White's move. I, I, I want to try some new Sosaki. <laughs> <laughs> it's already happening. This is where the stones start. Oh, very good. All right, so why do you go in there? Oh, uh, because I want outside. But he wanted outside. Well, I want more. That sucks. That's OK. You don't get any new stones, though. OK, sure. OK. And actually, if we're, at this point, the game is no longer a nine on professional game. <laughs> <laughs> This is considered to be a slight, like, like you know, half point inferior move in today's Go theory, but at the same time, no one can say it's wrong, right? It's again, it's attitude. All right, need a black player, John. Lower four or four. Uh, right here. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And again, he's saying, look, there's more side over here than over here, so playing on this side, that's fine. If you were if you were weaker, you'd get you might get a stone for that. That's okay. Uh, and then Brendan. I'm not sure what to do with the 5 4 stone, uh, but. Go up there, Brendan. Can I go up? Come up. I think it's still okay. Yeah. Um, so no one attacked me yet. I'm pretty happy about this now. You just wait. Well, I'll be happy with that. Well, this is actually a normal. It's okay. Uh, this. This configuration, just to go off on a tangent, is actually a lot more common if we have something like this. Can anyone see what I did here? And why, yes. why is this different? Like, I know that's really embarrassingly small difference, but. So I was actually, if you put the black back and the white back where they were, um, I was, and put the white, the last most recent white up one. Yes. I was thinking about that. This is okay. This Would is that okay. be a little bit better? I don't know. Oh, Tough to say. But I'm just saying what is what you'd normally expect is you'd expect black to make the five four move when white's played a three four facing a black stone. This is more normal. And the reason being that if black gets this move, this stone, this stone, and this stone are all sort of working together, right? Forms like this giant outside shaped triangle. That's really nice. When White's doing it here, I don't know what White's doing. I don't know what the plan is. So I can't say any of these are particularly good. I think these are all just moves at this point. So you're saying like maybe that 5-4 move at the top might show up, but in a different context? Yes. There, are, there is absolutely a context to play it, but it's when you know you have a global strategy to take the outside. Z-Ways is playing it just because he wants to cause trouble. <laughs> which is which is fine, yeah. I mean, that's a valid go strategy, right? Cause trouble. What's wrong with that? Absolutely. All right, uh, Jack, you're black, right? Yeah, you're up. Right. Me Come on up. Problem. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do this because this looks like it's biggest. Ooh. Well, six. Okay. Four. Normally, how, you're you're like 
15 Q? Do we figure this out? I think uh, it should be somewhere lower than that. I'd be at about 15 Q. Really. 15, 15 Qs. Probably more like 12 or 11. Have you played against 5 4 Drosecki before? No. Okay. Um, what, 6 4 would be better? This, this is usually not a good move. Okay. Okay? But here's how this is going to work. I'm not going to tell you why yet. All right. I'm going to leave it up to the player who comes after you. If they can play the correct response, I'm okay. taking one of your stones. Fair enough. Oh. Okay. Angela! No. No, Angela, you have to make this right. Not this me. is the very important move. That's uh, exactly what I didn't want. Oh, really? And again, you never know when you're going to get called on, so you, sh you should all be thinking about stuff. I need to answer the black one and tell him why he's bad. Mm -hmm. I always have like, a gut reaction, and then I think really hard, and I always go back to the gut, so I'm just going to cut that short. Okay. Maybe. It's okay. I want the corner. <laughs> Why not here? Let's move slightly better. So, attachment maybe? Yeah, what, what, why do we not want to attach? Attachment is strong for both. Just back and jump. Him. Who, who, who's stronger yeah. right now? Yeah, the Neither. Black. Who's moves it? White. So it's actually white's advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever I attach to a, an opponent who's weaker than I am, right? Black's clearly weaker now. That gives black flexibility. We're, we're giving black a get out of jail free card. Because black now has a bunch of free moves. And the black play 3-3 three, three also can be a threat. Yeah, black can even just ignore, give up the stone yeah. and play here directly. There's lots of things black can do. But the point is, Three to three liberties, right? Three liberties, three liberties, but now whose move is it? So it's not black. Actually, we just gave black the advantage back. We just had a two stone to one advantage. What this? But we just shorted ourselves a liberty, so it kind of cancels it out. So, so is that a white spot where black actually should have played? Uh, this is better, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a normal approach. This is special strategy approach. We have no reason to be playing a special strategy at this point. <laughs> like, we shouldn't be willing to just give white the whole corner and get attacked. Like, yeah. we shouldn't be willing that. But it's okay, white play here. So you don't lose a stone jack. <laughs> That's good. You're okay. Uh, question? I have a question. Yeah. Um, is five four? For who? Oh, when? four five. For no, no, four six. For for who? Oh, uh, why? For six here? No, oh, okay. Okay. yeah. Not so good. Black plays here once. Yeah, I'm encouraging black to play. White plays here once. Black plays here once. But I get the inference on the outside. You do, but That's look how many one. points this is. This was your corner. You played there first, and you gave black a 15-point corner, and it's not protected here or here. Black can still get out. That's big. That's very big. So this is very special strategy. Like, you need the outside kind of strategy. Not like, there's four stones on the board, and I just want to play them. Yeah. OK, so we did this. This is where we are. I'm going to call on you. Solly? Oh, wait, are you... Yeah, he's black. You're black? Yeah, I'm black. Okay, good. Yeah, one, two, three. There's my whites. There's my blacks. One, two, three. This is the seventh move? Yeah. Yep, and then... Who has it? Oh, Brooklyn. is going to play the eighth. What do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Perfect. Um, oh, white just, white just attached to you. Right? Yeah, I wasn't going to play there. <laughs> But then you just focused on this area, okay. so I think probably should play here. Um, so what would be a good rule of thumb for a beginner at this point? If when, when's a tanuki? If white attaches to a lone stone of yours, you should respond. That's, that's going to be your rule 90% of the time. Okay. If white attaches to you and it's, if it's a weak stone, it's not, it's not like it's a strong stone, but it's a weak stone, respond. Uh, you have 10 seconds. <laughs> can I get some, can you tell nope. me if I'm back? Nope, five seconds. Okay. Um, Am I just give to him? Ooh! <laughs> you mentioned it. I did, but I didn't mean to. That was, that was Z-Way's fault. <laughs> I said it's possible. <laughs> well, I don't know of into a middle game, maybe. 
All right, no points awarded. Um, <laughs> will 4-4 four four be awesome. a better move? No. 4-4 four four is a bad move. I'm, I'm almost tempted to come over and take oh. all your stones. <laughs> I, I never 4-4, four four, where do you play, White? Uh, <laughs> you just anyway, you Which way? Oh. Which Atari? Uh, almost double Atari. Yeah. Well, if Atari, I will come super strong. Look at White. White, super strong too, and has eyes, has base, has points. You owe me a move. So, oops. This move, I said was possible, but this is the type of move we're going to play later if we tanuki. <laughs> okay, Brooklyn, you're up. I don't know where any stones yet, but now, but, you know, now, now, we're, now that we have some stones on the board, we're going to start seeing these moves be a little bit less relative and a little bit more in absolute terms, good or bad. Why? Because I don't want Black to get the quarter, and I don't want to lose that guy. And I feel like if he comes here, which he shouldn't. This move is okay. It's not the strongest move. It's a little bit. Uh, you're saying this is important. I don't care what happens over here. You become completely disinvested of this. So, no stones awarded, but it's a, it's a more passive move. I was looking for, hoping for something stronger. Black intentionally split himself up. We must punish. All right, next move. Let's start with, we started with Tim last time. Let's start with Sally. You're back up. Uh. <laughs> you play this move. <laughs> you play this move, but you must continue. All right. This is your chance, though. If you play the move that, I, that you, should, you need to play, you get a word of stone. Simple as that. There it is. Hey, Sully, take a four stone. Very good. Point for black. Yeah, and now this is the problem with your move, right? Is it? He connects now. He fixes his problem. And you're going to end up making an empty triangle. So, Brooklyn, you're back up here. Oh, great. You must learn from your mistake. Mm hmm. You guys like tiger's mouths? Like, is that? What? Do you guys like, go time. Do you guys like tiger's mouths? No. Uh, sometimes. sometimes. I would try to make it more rare. One yeah, problem with beginners is you guys like tiger's mouths too much, right? So when you guys look at this shape, and you're like, oh, all my stones are connected. They're awesome. No, they're it's not. actually not that great of a shape. Black has lots of things black can do. Black can take this Atari and just force you to make an empty triangle. Now this stone looks stupid. He can peep here if he just wants the outside. Again, have to fill. This stone looks stupid. Uh, it's, it's, it has defects that are pretty easy to exploit. Anyway, Brooklyn's going to play a move. Can so they also, to... like, really, like, they're making that much, like, use of that it's, it's just not necessarily efficient, because they're... Weak. And also, black is on lead now, because black so is trying Yeah, I like black a little bit more, but that's... I, it's, like, it's still a game. Like, like, oh, filling would be... Still have gross. Gross. Would it Would it be... Okay, just I can't tell you this information. You can't, you can't. I can't tell you this information. Give me a stone. Give me a stone. Give me a stone. So it turns out, what, what did Brooklyn need to do here? He needed to connect. He needed to fill this. We can't find it right now. Or... Uh, that empty triangle was three stones with a... There's empty. One, two, three. Oh, okay. That, there's the empty triangle if you don't see it. Yeah, who said co? Yeah. Not the right answer. Yeah. But we, we can't fight a co right now. We can't fight a co, correct. Yeah. Okay. So oh, I see, I see, I see. Correct. Good. You can't play this. You have to play this here. After you invest this stone, you're saying, I want to be strong this way. I don't care what happens this way. If you don't fill this in and you come over here and play this, this is what you played, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You're not going to be strong over here and you're not going to get that. It's like you, lose, you, you sort of double loops. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's okay. We can still come back. Uh, we need a black. Let's go Tim. Um, I feel like I should take that stone for four. Like it. Cool. Black gets another point. Damn. Take it out of bullet. Z-Way. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you need to come wow. to your team's rescue. <laughs> wow! You are so there. genius now. I'm so genius. There's a good white move here. There's a better or, white move. No, no, that's the movie no, played. No, no, no. That's the movie played. That's the movie played. No, no, no. no that's the movie played. You force him to fill, and then 
Gun. There you go. Brennan has the right idea. I'm not giving you some. I'm not taking any away. So you're okay. Oh, yeah, I know. I should play. Uh, what should you play? The the Atari. No, not Atari. The four two. No, play Atari. Atari, but yes. that would be so many brick. No, this is, now this is a good Atari, right? Z-Way says, "Hey, I need to fix, right?" So he wants to spend a move to fix here. This is a good idea. Your idea is good, but. Do you, do you ever like haggle with anyone? Do you ever make a bargain? Yeah. And you know, sometimes when you're bargaining, you're like, all right, I'll give you, I'll give you my Power Ranger and my SpongeBob SquarePants if you give me the Ninja Turtle and your Shredder. And the, and the guy, and the guy is like, I don't know, I don't know. And then uh, he, he sort of pushes you. And he's like, okay, and you got to throw in that hacky sack. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know. And and you got to throw in that silly putty. <laughs> okay, right. You have to ask for a little bit more first. But to okay, me, because the Y is this have this on it, so if I play here, that will be a cut. So this will be a little bit dangerous. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. What is black going to play now? It's black's move, right? What is black yeah, going to do? Yeah, black have to fill. Yeah, okay, if black fills, then now whose move is it? Oh, I see. And now you got this for free. And now black's heavier. You got it for free. If you play this now, black you we've already wasted a move becoming strong. Right? Black isn't as likely to fill. Because black doesn't, if you take the stone, yeah, black becomes weaker. But white isn't getting any stronger. It makes no difference to white whether or not he has this stone. But before you connect, yeah, if, if black plays somewhere else, does this. Not that that's not a good move, don't do it. Okay? <laughs> now you're stronger and you don't need to connect, right? And he's weaker, right? So it's like free stuff. So in this case, if you play this directly, you missed a free opportunity, free I move. Free move. Okay? Uh, we need a black. Let's do Jack. Okay. Uh, I feel like I basically can play anywhere at this point. That's what you think. That's what I think. <laughs> I mean, is there a potential for me to get totally killed over here? Probably. I wonder if sound is working on my camera. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see the light going on. I was like, this whole video might be muted. <laughs> All right, five seconds. Four seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A terrible move. Probably. Thank you. It's not not the best. Okay. No. It's it's you have you're saying you have strength here, so you want to use it. You want to utilize it. Expand on it. That's okay, but I think there's, there's more important shape points first. So I think the direction is very good. Like you're thinking on the, your, your attention is drawn to the correct part of the board. You think it should fix? But the right move is wrong. Yeah. Or maybe not the right time for it. Definitely not the right time for this. But let's see. We'll see, we'll see whether or not you get punished based on your, the, <laughs> the next opponent's move. Who, who hasn't played this cycle for a while yet? Brennan? Okay, Brennan. <laughs> oh, man. Not really sure. Um, I have to punish Jack's move. I mean, I'm tempted just to play and split, but that's not punishing Jack at all. Okay. Um, well, here's the thing. You don't necessarily need to punish him right now. But... Yeah. <laughs> you can no. use the sente. To punish it at that middle game. See so he comes up with see if Jack's move keeps him his points. <laughs> Fourteen tamago. <laughs> tamago sushi. Five seconds. Very close. Close, but not the key point. I'm trying to threaten to come in later. Right. And at the same time build up a wall. But Sounds better. If he blocks, you go more free stuff. If he blocks again, whoops. You just got this for free. Yeah. You can come over here and play something else. But we played here. That's exciting. Okay, sit down. No stones. You don't Was he on the fifth line or fourth line? He's on the fifth line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John. <laughs> I think this is move six, 
Seven? Uh, what move is this? I don't know. Four. All right, so what's Seven. the correct move for black back when it was my turn then? Black, instead of this zone, I think that should be there. If you're going to play this side. Yeah. Okay. Because it still makes this invasion very possible. It, you can still attack this. White isn't completely safe yet. You're still building a wall. And white would love to build a wall here. Right? Then white can make this giant moyo here. So this is going to ruin that bay. When you play this low stone over here, it's a little passive. White this is going to lean on you, make a big wall, get the influence. It's not a bad move. It's not like you're going to lose the game because of this necessarily, but you're missing an opportunity. <laughs> you're not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to win. Given John. The way, given the way everybody's going to play it, it's not a 16, 16, 16, 16. No, down to the bottom. Yeah, bottom. There. So make an enclosure? Yeah. You're not worried about anything going on over here? Um, I figure I can fight it out if I have to. Oh, are you sure? No, but <laughs> this is pretty damn big. <laughs> Here, here's here's the, the subtlety to your move. When you play a move like this, you're saying that you can build something bigger than white. Yeah. Right? That's what you're... When you, when you play this type of move, you're saying, I don't care what else is going on on the board. We're both building. The thing I'm going to build is going to be bigger. Yeah. Is that true here? No. Um, kind of depends on what white wants to do. <laughs> well, always, but, <laughs> but my, my feeling is no. Well, my, my, my alternative was like up like where you first started to put it, is uh, to approach that white stone. Yeah. This move? I like yeah. this move a lot better. Yeah. But, and, I, I, but, but here, let me, let, me, let me show you the key yes. understanding reason why I like this move better. Yeah. Do you see this stone? That, that changes it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. White is now threatening to build something here. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if he can't build all of this? If you start with the reducing? Well, I was also thinking that if white tried to take the top of the board there, that black would maybe take the bottom and more of the center. But white already has an outside stone here on the fifth line. The center right now is more white than it is black. Uh, five, uh, what five was that? Uh, five, five is, is still a good possibility. Here? Yeah. Yeah, but not nearly as good as a possibility as it was previously. Yeah, I know, I know. It's yeah, so it's... So... Not the best. Okay. I'll try harder next time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it wasn't gone for white, this cycle. Angela! Okay, how about you? Angela, I really feel like I'm closer to beginner than I thought I was. <laughs> well, well, no. Don't, guys, when we're doing this, I'm, I'm showing you what I would play at my level, right? Which is significantly higher than where any of you are, you know, right now. And that's a good thing. So, if you come away from this and you feel bad about your game, good? Good. I mean, something you think is interesting. I, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to show you guys, like, how I think, right? And certainly right. how uh, strong players think. Something I think is interesting, though, is I would yeah. never think to do that. Oh, that's, yes. Like, of course. I would never, <laughs> but I mean, I would never build. I would always. Always aggressive, more would, aggressive, try to reduce. Yeah, I would always try to build while being aggressive. So, okay. like, push here and then try to build. Okay, so like, so can you find a move for white that builds while being aggressive? <clears throat> well, I was thinking of just being really pissy and. <laughs> and doing that? That's good. Of divide and conquer. Okay, take a stone. That's a good move. Ooh, yeah. Uh, no. this, is, this is an actual follow up. I got a point. Right, cut black off. Black didn't respond. Have to punish black. So good move. Do you have a question? Yeah, I. I it's good, it's your move, Zwei. What? <laughs> no, Zwei is white, isn't he? Oh, you're white. Sorry, not yeah. your white. Uh, oh, John, let's have you. Or, or Zwei's question first. Uh, no, I just see this boy is a little bit thing of wow my game. Okay. That's good. John, your move again. Okay, let's do the one up the top. Right here? Yeah, 17, 3, or, or no, 5, I mean, or 6, there he goes, 5, 6, somewhere there. Okay, this is a great move locally. Love this move, right? Building, he already has this over here. We're reducing the effect of this white stone. What's the problem with this? You need to respond. Need to respond. Yeah, what's going on over here? Black well, is about it, to it, get cut off. Life and death. Is black in serious trouble? Seems that way. I think, I, I think it, black is cutting it close here. I'm worried about white jumping in between the black stones on the left. Like, pincering. So jumping in between where? You mean on the, 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 the This corner. Well, I mean, I am white. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking... I mean, I mean, I mean here, here's the thing. With this type of sequence, man, doesn't white just wish 
You might have played that earlier. You have yeah, to yeah. Make all, wouldn't that be useful right now? Because now you know you're super strong and gotten this in for free. Anyway, stuff come, like that comes back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. This is a great move but this if is white good. can't punish us. Yeah. And there's multiple ways to punish over here. Right? It's not just life and death. Okay? There's other things we can get out of this. Uh, it's actually a hard problem. And I, and to re I, I, have, I have an obvious answer for you guys, but I bet there's probably a better answer than the one I'm thinking of. Um, but if, if white can't punish us over here, if this, if this turns out to be two wasted moves, this is amazing. This is like, we get everything we want. If white does punish us, we're going to feel kind of dumb. Well, so, my, my fingers crossed. Fingers crossed? <laughs> let's, let's say the jury's out whether or not yeah. we take away a stone for this. But I'm, I'm basically, I mean, I would have done that uh, if I had a verbal there come out through the shape a long time ago, mm -hmm. but in the schizophrenic mm -hmm. player that I am. <laughs> well, Brooklyn's going to respond to this. I see I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, I think. I think maybe uh, two spaces below that black stone in the middle. So here? Well, uh, one up here? No. Oh, here? Right, but, but one line that way. He's getting closer to the black yeah. stone. This way? Yeah. I would have played one, one line up, but. Up, oh, like, oh, up, 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 that way. Right, yeah. I, I'm still. For me, no, this is the top yeah, of the board, yeah, yeah, right? And yeah. it's a pyramid really looking down. It. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's good. We have to punish uh, black immediately. Keep attacking. Find a way. Uh, yeah, you, take, you, you get a stone for your valiant effort. Dude, it's not the exact spot that I would play, but I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's see what black does. Maybe we can see why it's not the exact spot I would play. Well, let's have Tim. Oh man. Now we're getting. Now we have some confusing stuff on this board, right? Yeah. <laughs> We've got a group that is alive but could be harassed. Yeah, yeah. We've got a, a, a stone that approached that wasn't responded to. We've got a stone that's being attacked. We've got a very developable area of the board for black. We've got a very developable area of the board for white. What do you want to do, Tim? What is it going to be? I want to do everything. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> um. I feel like maybe this much. Right here? Yeah. I like it a lot. Hey. I think, I think it's a very nice move. So, Tim is thinking on a higher level here. Tim has a much bigger strategy when he plays a move like this. What's his strategy? Win games. Box. Win he's, games. He's attacking, he's attacking the white stone at the same I time. I hate that box. The bottom is getting so big for black. Right. Now this is yes. really developable, yeah. right? Yeah. Really developable for bottom, number one. So he's still developing. What else does this move do? Box. Pressure yeah. white. Oh, it makes a box, right? So that's the developmental oh. part, yeah. Big. Pressure is white. Remember how white attacked you? Yeah. Well, there's a couple ways we could deal with this attack, right? We could just run the stone out. We could connect under here. Uh, or we could counterattack. And in doing so, we can, maybe we can induce white into forcing, uh, or forcing white, I should say, into taking that stone off the board. In other words, Tim is willing to sacrifice this stone. He's saying, you know, not a, not a big issue. I can deal with that. Let's, pl let's, let's play. And I, I like this move a lot. So Tim, two stones for you, man. Two stones. Two stones. I was thinking about that, but one line higher as not being a good move maybe because... I, mean, I, I was thinking that this would be good because it put more pressure on white, but it would be bad because it might let white in at the bottom. Yeah, I'm, 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 I like this one better. It's, yeah. it, it protects the corner a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I think they're both playable. Okay. Um, but, uh, but with the one play, you're saying that maybe black just gives up on that one stone and uses it as bait. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and that black stone is not even close to being dead yet, which is a fantastic, oh, yeah. Yeah. fun part. Right, because again, it can run out and start attacking white. It can run out this way, attack white directly. We have moves like this. Yes. 
sink under there. And this also might help our corner and guarantee life on our corner so white can't harass us anymore. Yes. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, so let's pick a white player. Is Z-Way gone in a while? I think it might be Z-Way's turn. Has Z-Way gone this round? I think that was the... Uh, I think Michael. Cycle. Okay, is that the, that was we we started a new cycle, right? Yeah. Four, five, we're we're two moves halfway through the next cycle, or three eighths through the next cycle, I think. So, when was the last? You went. Um, you started the new cycle for white. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Z-way, your move. Ten seconds. I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, like. Let's play checkers. <laughs> trying to do? Spiny words. Um, give the black an option. If you take the side, I take the corner. That's all. You're going to play over your one out here. Because... Black is trying to build up a giant box here, right? Yeah, but... So, do you want black to get a giant box? No, but... So... Uh, boom. You just I, live in the middle I, of the box. I think I'll stop this, but... This is a great move. If you, if, you, if you really don't know what to do here, I mean, you, just, you still probably play something over here, but if you really don't know what to do, this is by far my next favorite move on, the, on this board right now. Because it's so developable for black. We just need to get in there, live, prevent it from being anything gigantic. And just playing right in the middle like this, it's a really easy way to do it. So I like this move. This move is going to be trouble. So. Because what I'm is black gonna? Up. What is? What do you think? What do you think black's gonna do when you play this? Black. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's say black goes here. What are you gonna do next? Like now I go to your move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this was a bad exchange then, right? Yeah. Because if this happens and he goes this way, go. yeah. First of all, you go this way, and later on, now you have moves like this instead. Or even this, uh, if you have a, or this, like you can play all these other moves. When you play this right now, you're saying, I know exactly what I want. I'm not willing to be flexible about it. I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to get beat while I'm taking it. <laughs> okay? When you play a move like this, this is, this is the armpit hit. It's like a shoulder hit, but from below. Like, this is saying, you know what you want. And That's a little bit too early. Yeah, a little bit too early for the second move. So, give me a stone. Thank you. I will get it back. Black. Uh, Solly's black, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You'll get it back. I get four I know you mentioned this move, <laughs> but I was thinking of doing it anyway. Okay. It's already made. What, what's, what about this? Well, I, I don't know which, which part of the board to choose, so... Well, we have I don't know anymore, guys. <laughs> it's got hard. My, my gut reaction is you have to play out here. Because look at how solid this corner is. And look at how much trouble White's in. Like, this is good, good. Over here, it's, it helps this group. It kind of helps the stone. But it doesn't really attack anything for white. So it's only like good, okay. Mm -hmm. So when he plays a bad move, it's sort of like an attachment, and you need to respond, like you need to punish. When all the moves are kind of equal, the area board is actually often less important. But if your opponent makes a mistake, like you have to take advantage of it. So don't give him a second chance. This move is okay, mm -hmm. but you had better things to do, I think. Okay, no change. Uh, we need a white player. You know, no, my, player. my move is become a Brandon. big move now. It seems like it. Hmm? My move become a big move. Your move is a good move now. Yeah. Right now, your move so is I, good. Like, yeah, your move should not be good. 
but it works. This is, this is one of the problems when you play Go with a lot of people all at the same time, right? They're thinking yeah. different things. Lots of different thought processes. Brendan, what do you want to do? Well, I want to steal the corner, but I'm not sure how. Uh, okay. Three, three. Oops. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I was thinking about the three, three. If he drops down, then I can just, uh, then we do underneath and I connect it. I was all thinking about doing a nice move again, but, um, yeah, nice move also. Mm. Better. Straight down. Straight down? No, because yeah. then he can keep, then he can. Whenever it's like black should have gone here, and then when white's like, all right. <laughs> I should go like this one. Mm. You know what one I like best? Knight. I like this one. Just yes. that one. Really? Yeah. Really. Here, let's, let's analyze. Let's analyze. Knight's move was also a popular suggestion. Looks like good shape, right? This is fancy shape. It's really low. Yeah, it's yeah, low. It doesn't feel like we're putting any pressure on black, right? It's a crouching knight. <laughs> you know, black can still go here. Right. And granted, we can go here so we can get a little bit more. But well, I can say, okay, you have a tiny corner. I'm going to take the outside and go back to building my box on the outside. If we take, well, here's one, we, here's one in the game that we played. We'll see how this plays out, I hope. Uh, let's talk about this one. This one puts more pressure on black, right? Black is more inclined to want to keep his corner. So where is black going to play? 3 3. Now, where does white play? Um, two space jump to the left. Play this first. Again, still threaten to take the corner. Cause, yeah. Right? Black sells a defect. Black can be really hard to tanuki away from this. If you play here, it goes like this. Black's going to tanuki this without thinking. Right? There's, there's, it's hard to justify another black move where he could be taking the outside. But if you put this pressure on and expose this cut, <laughs> black's, black's going to want to respond. I mean, it's going to be really hard for him not to. And if he doesn't respond, if he takes this, you can come. You can actually do lots of things. But here, even the simple one, you know. You can just come under, right? Pressure on over here, and then go play and find a way to take away these points. All right, you have points. Um, so again, it's about it's about putting pressure on your opponent. Your opponent's strong. Find a way to exploit him, make him over concentrated, make him keep playing moves. If you play a soft move now, eh, you know, this move I don't like. <laughs> here, without looking at the board, do you have the ladder? If you don't know the answer to this question, you have no business playing this move. Okay, did you, did you check the ladder? I did not check the ladder. Okay. This is important. So where's, so actually, well, I don't say anything else because we'll have black play. Uh, Jack. I knew you were going to call on me at this point. I'm like, where the heck is this ladder supposed to be happening? <laughs> so, so here, I'll give you, I'll give you an option. Uh, if you find the ladder, no, you don't have to play a move, but, but first, <laughs> Instead, instead of giving you an option, I'm telling you before you play after move, you have to find the ladder. It's an additional requirement. An additional requirement. An additional okay. requirement for you to play a stone. I, I, I see it now. That's, that's you see it? So luckily, white has the ladder, so white can actually do this and get away with it. I'm not saying it's good, um, but I'm saying you can get away with it because you have the ladder. Uh, but you still have to find it. <laughs> so, so this is the, the black stone that's going to be a ladder. One, you gotta it. find it. All right, try it. Here, you can try it a few moves. Where's the obvious move? The obvious move is to good. That's that's, that's up the ladder. Yeah. All right. What's the next obvious move? Um, the next obvious move is this. One. Good. Here. Next move isn't so obvious, but it sets up the ladder. So what? 
looks really unobvious to me if you play here. I Very nice, play. although usually you probably want to play this side. Oh, okay, and then you come over. And if white takes a stone, it's that. Yeah. yeah. There's a letter. Here, finish. Yep. Finish it up, show everybody. And uh, white okay. takes. And this. There's the ladder. Hey! There's the ladder. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Can you see that, Tim? Uh, I mean, I can see it. Have we talked about ladders before? Yeah, I mean, I know it is. I just, I don't know. It's like this is a really a common shape kind of problem. When white has, when white has a pokey right in the middle like this, near yeah. the edge of the board. Yeah. Really common to Suji. Cut, connect, throw in a stone on one side. If white catches you, counter Atari, ladder, the other step, the other side. Yeah, I see that yeah. it has yeah. sushi book. Yeah. Huh. Why, why not Atari? Why not take it this way? Well, no, ladder black. is on all the other side. So why not play this one? No, okay. At this point, black plays on, on the inside corner. Yes. Then white, Atari's in. Yes. Why doesn't black start kind of fixing the shape by Atari and white from above? Here? Yeah. Because this is better. Even though white is the ladder. Well, well not, not, not in this <laughs> not case. Not right now. Because, <laughs> not right now because white is the ladder. But if black can find a way to get the ladder and then do this, black is very happy. All right, let's say black ladder and white get, plays a ladder break. I'll say black has a ladder right now. This, again, we go right back to building our box and we're super strong, right? White can't ever attack us anywhere over here ever again. So, and not only that, we have moves like this to annoy white later. No. Right, we can actually seal all this off too. So this, 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 is a, this is a big stone. I mean, this is an important stone. And again, this is one more reason. When we went back to here, I really wanted white to play here so I don't have to deal with the ladder. Thanks. So, so here, so going back to Jack, ladder doesn't work for black. So black can't do this yet. But black certainly can't let white connect on it. Okay, so what do you want to play? Go all the way through and have it set up so that later good. on I can play. No, this is, this, is, this is a good move. Right? Oh. What you really don't want to happen is white to do this. Yeah. Right? Now you have no defects to exploit. The white, the corner is white. Nothing else can be done. So even though you don't have the ladder, you can certainly poke a hole in white. Yeah. Make it white, make it a burden on white to worry about later. So this is a very good move. Take a stone. Cool. Alright, white. Uh, so uh, uh, yes. One question here about poking through there. Yes. My instinct was just immediately poke a hole in there before I even worked it out to where there's any ladder. Mm -hmm. and, and so, well, yeah, okay, seems like good, but that's one it, it was such a strong instinct, how could it possibly be wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's wrong if, there, if it doesn't leave you any defects to exploit. Yeah, so, it, so this really tempting, obvious thing is maybe something. Yeah, so, so here, I'll give you an example where it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, what? If white has yeah. this, yeah, that would, uh, this is a bad move. Okay. Yeah, okay. But, right? but we're, we're now white has eye shape. Yeah, but my notion yeah. was separating white. Mm -hmm. So potentially that's a good. That's a good instinct. Yes, that's a very good instinct. Actually, but even, even with that, falling under all the way through. Yeah, you, so, so right now, like I said, wow. it's wh who has the burden to fix their shape. Yeah. Right? And if you play this move first, White is saddled with these defects. Yeah. I mean, these are real defects that white will have to worry about. So you want to poke a hole. You don't want white to fix cleanly. Keep white as weak as possible, as many defects as possible. So this poke is really important. Um, white hasn't gone yet. White hasn't gone yet. You went. You didn't go this round, right? Because you ended the last round. Angela, your move. But I feel like it's not It's not very good. That is, that is correct thinking. It's a forced move. I'm sorry. You were complaining when it was hard before. <laughs> Take a stone. It's the obvious you recognize it was a forced move, right? That's yeah. good. You didn't go play over here. It's true. I didn't Because I would have. Yay! Gosh darn it. You didn't okay. do the point. That's right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, we did three cycles. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Let's do one more cycle, and then we'll tally up the points. 
Sound good? Let's see, who will play the next black move? I think, I think it's gonna, who hasn't started around yet? You started the first one, you started the second one. I think Solly started, this, or you started the third one, you started the second one. I think it's Jack's turn to start this round. Okay, great. Um, this move is hard. What? This move is a little bit harder. <laughs> this move is harder, huh? This move is harder. Okay, great. Even, even better. <laughs> I just think a harder move is actually easier to rack up points for yeah, your team. Absolutely. So, I mean, the obvious thing for me to do is to just deny away the base right here mm -hmm. and play like that. So that's what I'm going to do. God. Done it. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Almost really like this move. <laughs> I almost you want really to. like this move. Would one line closer have been superior? It just yes. Seems, it just seems a little too loose. Well, for me. actually, I still really want to like this move. Want to like it? I really want to like it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not pretty good move now. Seem like it. I, I, I do. I, I would like this better. Okay. I like this yeah. better. Because it just seems. I mean, here, here, here's, here's, here, here's my question. Does this re-expose this cut? No. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't think so. I mean, when I, it's. Uh, the, it's the answer is actually yes, it does. Oh, okay. But it doesn't go to a ladder anymore. It goes to a fight. Hmm. And if you have this here, it actually goes to a lot easier of a fight for you. Yes. Um, but furthermore, White actually can get some forcing moves here too. This is this is a really tough situation. You know, this is here. We played it. It's happening. I I actually really like it though. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's so close to being a really powerful move. I think you get a star. You're too generous. <laughs> it's a powerful. This is this this is no. But here here's here's the reality, right? Moves like this are gonna are moves that are gonna win you the game. Right, where you're trying to do, make your stones do a lot of things. Right? You're trying to use this stone to, to surround white. You're trying to use this stone to expose these cuts. You're using this stone to develop this box here. I mean, regardless of whether or not this is on the exact point that's best for whatever shape you're making, this is the absolute type of spirit, this is the type of move you want to be looking for in your games. Right? Moves that aren't just passive responding kind of things, where you're thinking bigger. Okay? So, dynamite. Okay? Feel good about that one. Thanks. Going back, oh, you just had a move, right? No, no, but round well, four. Moved, but like, that was the end of the round, right? So you get to do this one. What do you mean, damn, you got, you, last time you complained your move was too easy. I just don't want to move on camera. That's just. Oh, you know, we don't have to move on camera. Just to him. I haven't just, been played on just, the server. Just get one of those voice disguisers and sit in the back and. You just sit there. Mm -hmm. um. And then this one, this one requires some thought. This is right. serious. Would that be a little bit better, direct? I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Yep. I'm just asking. That I think you just don't want to say I also always seem to like to push, <laughs> attach, 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 which I know isn't smart. So I don't Only know. attach to when your opponent, is st opponent has a strong stone yes. that can't be attacked. Attaching is okay, but otherwise it's usually bad. My thought was that if I did something like this, which gives me a little bit more opportunity to try to run out, mm -hmm. is that if black does try to cut and create... Mm -hmm. I was playing with the reverse ladder, where you mm -hmm. like 
instead of laddering that way, try to ladder this way, which gave white this nice shape here. And if white already has that stone, it makes black. Yeah, that's a problem, right? It's a dangerous move. It's like, I can't call it good, though. Oh, she's changing it. Okay. <laughs> Try not to. I just, I get punished a lot for playing shapes like this. Well, you have to decide what's important to you. You have 10 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. For 10 seconds. Okay, so you decided that you're gonna fix. Pause. So if you're gonna, if you're just gonna fix and become as strong as you can, what's the what's the best move to fix that gives you eye shape, makes takes away your weaknesses, and gives you the best follow up? For fixing. Mm -hmm. Actually, you did pick it. <laughs> pick it, but you give up. Like here or here? Does that really fix the cut? If you're gonna fix, I like that one best. Yeah. If you're gonna fix directly, I think that's the best one. So, here, this is a really interesting move. But black has a really cool sequence here. Black can play here. Yeah. White. Black. White. Black can play here. White. Black. And now white has to take. Black is the outside. Mm. And I need to some other move here to fix. But can make, can basically seal you in. That might be essentially the corner. If you play here, I mean, that's just one possible variation, but if you play here, no variation like that. Nothing can seal you in. And black can play here, it's the best sealing in move for black, but it leaves cuts. You can cut them back. And you even have this move right off the bat, right? You try to seal you in, you take a bigger corner. Very good. If you, if, if you had stuck to your gut when you played it, though, I'd give you a stone. But we have to go through too many possibilities. Do what's in your heart, Angela. I don't know. I don't know. It's it a dark. In my heart is a lot of attachment. <laughs> yeah, it can't be attached to your stones. Yeah, if you're gonna fix it, I like this move. Black, we need a black player. Who wants to crack this? This feels like Tim to me. Alright. Um, well, I feel like what I did want to do was this move, but I feel like you just destroyed that in my brain. No, this, 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 don't let me destroy it. This is still a good move. That's, okay. I mean, I mean, that's I, what I would have done if you didn't say anything. Okay, excellent. Take a stone. Okay. <laughs> this is still a good move. It's white still gets more stuff though is the problem, right? It's, yeah, it's yeah. still that our shape isn't quite right. White's a little bit too strong. Yeah. But, you know, we just get more on the outside. And uh, if you guys remember the very beginning of the game, white was supposed to get the outside, right? That's all Z-Way wanted. It's just the outside. If, uh, if black just instead plays, uh, basically pushes on the right side, um, and no, no, I mean, attaches to those two stones on the right and threatens to cut the white stone. Okay, which, which two stones? Bottom right. Bottom right. Attach where? Attach to, I mean, black stone just extends, rather. Yeah, that way. This way. The, you know, does that force white to, to respond there and then let him play another move? Yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, definitely forces some sort of response. And because the next move for black is going to be here, and now white is actually lacking eye shape. And if you go back and play the other move now, you don't have nearly as much gain for white, right? Uh, true, but here's the problem. When you play here, um, you don't. I'm, you know, maybe this is actually really good. This would be really good. I was wondering. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of this. I'm scared of white comes out immediately. But this, this, this is the question I'm chewing on, Nick. Is you know, this, this, this is what I'd be scared of, or what I expect almost. And which is, I mean, I shouldn't be scared of it. It's, it's playable, right? Yeah. And I mean, white it seems like you can still black has profit. Just, so just continue to attack that stone on the left. They have the white stone on the left. Get the big corner there and try to get a huge side on the right. Yeah, still yeah, yeah. Quite a chunk. 
So, you know, I think, it's, I, think, I think this is playable too. But it's certainly risky, right? If, if white responds like this, uh, when you come back and play this, I know there's this free stuff down here. But instead of white just taking that, white's actually going to do something more dramatic. You know, push, cut here, or cut here. If you have a ladder. There's, there's still defects. So I'm not, sure, I'm not convinced this gets you something yet. And white may or may not respond. You're giving white a choice that you may not like the result of. I don't know. I don't know is the short answer. Okay. But certainly possible. The question, question about that. Yeah. I was wondering if, if black in Sente can essentially extend to the right and start sealing in that side. Yeah. yeah. And also pushing on the white. Uh, also, kind of prevent white from going towards the other corner. Which corner? Oh, this corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got an extra black stone up there right now. They're on the. Uh, no, it's white smooth. Yeah, but it, if, if 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 that black stone had gone into to defending the rest of that that side, would it matter that much if white was able to go off to the to the center? He's, white's already alive. It's not a matter of life. And well, I, I still care about the center here, right? Because we have this development. Yeah. White is invested in the center, so I yeah. so I need to be invested in the center at least a little bit too. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's it's still we're still very early on in the game. I mean, the center yeah. is a huge place. We haven't we haven't really mucked it yeah, up. I, I was thinking for securing both sides, mm -hmm. would it be sure? That good? I, I I think this move is good. Like I think I think doing this idea is good. It still doesn't sell you off completely, right? Because yeah, white is still yeah. under here, but but I think it's a good exchange if you can get it. Yeah, but if you can get both sides. Mm -hmm. Maybe it wouldn't be you know, something you could fight on or something as far as mm -hmm. where the center goes. Possibly. Okay, so it's not like absolutely you got to keep them out of the center. You mean with this with this move? Yeah. Like just play this and then Tanuki? Yeah. Well, it depends. Uh, it depends. If it, you have to you have to have you have to have a plan. You have to have something bit, you know better to do. Well, or this move just makes everything tied together. Right now, all of these black stones are all basically linked up. Well, okay, so, so if white right. went off the center, it would also be split in black in the two groups. Yeah, I mean, if white comes out here, yeah. white can attack this. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay. And white can attack this. Yeah. So this, this feels really big to me. It gives black all this influence, and it prevents him from being attacked. Even though it doesn't look like it's a whole lot of points, it looks like you can make bigger points here, here, here. It just for it's, it's such a point, vital point on the board for linking all the black stones together, right? Keep your stones connected. So, so this that move as you have it now actually helps defend the right side. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Oh, very much so. Because if white invades over here now, black's not getting attacked here, right? Black has a friend in the neighborhood, so black can counterattack this. And yeah. Do all sorts of things. Okay. Let's pretend we made that exchange. Let's pretend that happened. I like that exchange. <laughs> uh, Brendan is up for white. Still an interesting game. Oh, but I do want to point out the part about this that sucks for black. Black had two stones in this corner before white had any. Do you guys remember that? Two mm -hmm. focus. Fix. Nice play. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then White played this move that should have just gotten killed. <laughs> it's all right. So give me my stone back. <laughs> just don't gain. I should give your teammates the stone back. They, yeah, feel, they yeah. helped fix it, right? Your move was bad. <laughs> Ten seconds. He's got an idea. So, what's your building? Yeah, and, and also this move for black, I forgot to play this. Is okay. it track? Is, is it solid? No. Yeah, solid. It's solid. Yeah, white, I mean, th this is a good move. I mean, I, know I, didn't, I don't think I awarded you any stones for it because this was so much bigger. Yeah. But this really was valuable because at any point, white should be able to cut off this stone for free, right? This actually puts a lot of pressure on this black group. Um, so anyway, that was a good one. I'm just, I'm just going back and looking for it. So sorry. I don't know how to play this. Okay. So I'm gonna play this. Interesting. I uh, I like it in spirit. <laughs> okay. 
However, this is not a move I want to show double digit Q players. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a move that you guys should not have in your memory banks right now. <laughs> so we use that Dosaki taught us last bit? It looks like we can just kind of force him, we can just keep forcing black along the third line. Kind of yes, the that's our goal. Yeah, okay. Whether or not it happens is up for debate. Okay, number two, we're making bad shape here. No, 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 no. But but here, here's here's the the principle: mm -hmm. is this move is not at all flexible, hmm. right? It only does this is it. it only does one thing, well, right? These these are types of moves I don't want to teach to you guys, right? Because if you can evaluate the entire board and look at the board and go, oh, this is what I need to win the game, and that is the end of the story, this move is great. If it is not. There's a really big defect with this move. This move is locally a loss. And you guys might not have seen it before if you haven't played this Joseki out. Here, let me show you the Joseki. I'll leave it up. No, you guys well, got to find yourself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Who shows the Joseki and then make a different move for white? This, is, this will be the road that's not taken. Well, you guys have to make the different move for, for black. All right, who, all right, so anyway. Oh, we will. I'm personally at this point in the game. This is getting big, that's getting big for black. And this, I feel like it's the correct direction, but it's almost too slack. I feel like we need, we need to start something more. Yeah, so what about um, the two, the two space time fencers? Is that, is that a thing here? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. This is, it's hard for black to attack this stone. <laughs> so I think you can play this. Um, for this move, you know, I mean, I mean it's, it's good direction on two sides. You're developing and reducing, so I'll word a stone based on that. But again, this is not a move I want to show you guys because of there's a huge defect. But let's see if they uh, let's see if they know where the defect is. Who hasn't had a turn black this round? Just go around. Sally, guess what? <laughs> this is the last black move, huh? Last black move. Last black move. Last black, black white. Last white move. And then we got to tally it up. Oh. It's not quite the correct order, but it's a good move here. But it's not quite the correct order in the, the move sequence. So, okay, I'll give you a stone. All right, white move. Um, Who hasn't gone, Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, it's my move. I think it's, I think, I was I don't know. Like this, like this. You played that one. Who played? I was that too. Huh. I'm missing a person. Oh no. Oh no, because I added two stones. Yeah. Yeah. There's two more moves. Who has? Who has the, There's one more black player. Who hasn't had John? Yeah. So here you go. Okay. Then John, then Z Way. No, that's it. Yeah, I added. I added two stones. I I, I really don't know. Um, okay. Like, good. I would. I. Would do something like this. Perfect. One stone. Okay. Only move. John. 17-4. Very good. One stone. This is the move. Absolutely need it. If you play anywhere else, oh, white got everything white wanted. Yeah. No problem. Need this move. Take you said my move wasn't in the right order. Yeah, we usually in right jump in the order. corner. I think. I think. I think this is okay. But when, when now, white can respond to this differently. Is that, is that the move that should have gone first, the one uh, John just played? Um, this was, move. That one? Yeah, I think when white plays here, black should do this immediately. And here, I'll, here, I'll show you the sequence. White can play here. Um, black can play here. Uh, black can also play here. And this is, this is going to revert to what the shape that you guys made. Here's the difference, though. You see this cut here? White is a stone here, so it doesn't, it's not quite a perfect working for black. But, oh, man, this cut, if white doesn't fix this cut right now, this is a super hard cut to deal with if you're white. And often, white just has to give this up. Just say, here, you get more corner. I give up. I don't want to deal with this. Just leave me alone. But this was white's corner, right? Look how big that is. Mm -hmm. So another reason, Brendan, why this can be inferior, right? If we have to give up this cut, 
This is... So it's a really big trade for the board. Hmm? It's a huge trade for... Yeah, you, you, like, this is the bull in the china shop. Like, you want one thing, right? Just bam, just go in there, get that, and you win. But look how much you have to give up if, you, if this cut doesn't, uh, is bad for you. If you want to fight, it's hard. I mean, you could just run out this way. But these two stones, you have to have a plan for how to deal with them. So there's possibilities here. So the other, the other possibility. So when, when you play here, Dom, yeah. where's White going to play? Uh, possibly give a target. Mm, I'm a lot, uh, possible, I guess it's possible, but probably should save it for later to get a code thread. Is, the question is, White going to play here? I think this is better here. Remember, if white plays here, black can play here, and now there's a cut. Mm -hmm. So I think in this case, white should play here. And if black plays here, no problem, right? Yeah. If black takes his Atari, he just fixed all of our defects. Yeah, black's got a defect. Yeah. And black has to and then go to here. So. This is, when I said the move order was important, I think, I think that's the difference. A pro might have a completely different, a more insightful opinion. That's the one that I can spot just, you know, with my level of why I wouldn't play this one first. Because when white fixes, he can't do that. But if you jump in the corner first, right, do this first, white really doesn't want to play here because then black plays here. White doesn't, black doesn't poke here. And that means later on, black will get a defect here. Right, there's, there's, there's different defects that we can exploit because white shape is a little murky. Okay, that was not... You guys are supposed to be playing this game. How did this go? I think I just gave away the answer. Maybe it's just, yeah, there's, there's only one move left. Why not fast forward ahead to white sentai? <laughs> we play black here? Or white there? Yeah. And then let's give black this. Yeah. And then who has the last white move? Zero. No, you continue the secret. I want to play all the No, your move, Zero. Wow, do I have to play that move? Yep. Do I have to? <laughs> I don't want to. Have to play Can you just finish play the sequence? Move. It's finished. I finished it for oh, you. Oh, you got Sente. Let's see what Zero does with Sente. <laughs> Lots of wonderful things we can do with Sente. Oh. I think I'm not. Can you attack that this? Easily. Yes. Okay. It's not. Oh. Didn't do anything or hit. I hit. I come here. Sure. But I can poke. Okay. Now what? It's alright. Yeah, I know that doesn't work. <laughs> you can play there, but then you can play there. <laughs> Splitting attack, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fight. It's possible. It's possible. But you're getting yourself in a whole lot of danger that you don't necessarily need to get yourself into. So. Because I, I still think that this game is over here, it's not finished. Two, reasons, two other reasons why this is a bad move. Number one, can black make a lot of points here? No. Why? You're correct, but why? Too low. Sente. Too much sente. Yeah, look, white here, white here. It's too much sente. It's hard for black to seal them both, right? If black plays a move over here, you just erase this. If black tries to seal you off over here, you just erase that. It's, it's hard to make anything really big here. So... But I want to you don't do need it. You don't need to invade. I know, but yeah. I want to do something with. You want to attack? Yeah. yeah. I think before you need to prepare this. I think I think we need to see something else on the board, because where are you going to run this to? Even if it runs out, where are you running to? Where's your strength? No. Okay. Well, if you get strong down here, then you can squeeze it. Right. So moves that I like, I really don't know. This is a hard. Part. This is a really hard part in the game for me. Right? I'm just saying, like this is this is a good stopping point. Actually, if any, 
because black has development down here, so moves like this still feel big for white to come and invade. Moves like this, or like this, still feel big for white. Again, keep developing this side, in particular this one is a nice move. Where is the other one? Uh, you can cut here. Oh, okay. Or here, depending on which side you're wanting. I think this one is... They're both not great, though, yeah. quite frankly. If you do that shoulder hit, <laughs> and black like that extends, mm -hmm. what's the response? Yeah, just block. And uh, that's not cut? Yeah. Uh, I should not knock over the board this time. In a white stone, I think. Now we can play this. It's it's complicated. Yes. But I think you're fine. <laughs> is, the, is the is the conclusion? I think you're fine. But it's going to be complicated for the next ten moves in the meantime. Yes. I mean, if you cut here, look how stupid the shape is for black. Uh, and. This is a cool move. Let's play that one. Nope, not cool enough. Is that cool enough? Oh, I just connect. Uh, here? No. Oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at this. So here, if you play this, black plays here. White plays here. Black plays here. White plays here. Black takes. White Ataris. Black connects. Sweet. White. Oh, I need a ladder. Black has a ladder. Oh, there would be a broken ladder anyway, so we'll have to play here. Actually, this is good for black. This is good for black. Okay, good for black. <laughs> if, if you play, this is what happens if you play there. Here. But there's so much, I mean, there's so much uh, confusion. Here, let's go back. Let's see what actually should happen. Here, here. Here, black cuts. You can try cutting this side first. That point, I think I'd be getting real worried. For who? Well, for black. I think black's okay though because of these Ataris. White's gonna be okay. Hmm. But black is pushes here. Oh, the shape is so weird. Black gets the free move here at some point. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like that shape. I didn't like that whole cut and we have to cover it up. I didn't like it from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> For white? Yeah. Well, this is, where, this is where Go is complicated. And this is where you have to read it out and... Oh, this is the part. This is the part where <laughs> I actually like Go. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's right here. This is where Go is played. <laughs> right in here. Oh, we have to counter points, yeah. Okay, all right, let's call it. Uh, everyone got four moves, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, let's see what we got. Uh, team uh, Kapamaki. Uh, I think that one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 15 for black. Uh, points. Every time we play. So we have 17 between the three of us. You have 17 between the three of you? Yeah. Well, that's good. And three more? 20 for black? Are you just taking them out of the bin now? What's going on over here? That's weird. Yeah. Is that all the white stuff? 15. Yeah. 15? Oh, all right. That's good. Okay. Well, that concludes our. Kapamaki versus Tamago Sushi. Now the question is, is Black actually about to win on the board? <laughs> Count the points, Nick. It's like a fun game. You know? <laughs> a little bit too early. I, I like Black better, personally. I do too. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, still a, it's still a hard game.
What if white wins that fight? Which fight? Fight on the wall. Uh, here for yeah, this, and let's say just white to seal this off and it's happy. So it looks something like the end result looks something like this. That's each fight. Uh, Kind of like white now, quite frankly. In that case, that's a little bit too much of a swing for white. Because um, this is pretty low. There's not a lot of points here. Granted, this is low, but... I guess the point at which white comes in with this down up here. And and now we just start with the moves like this. And it's like, it's on black to do something like that. And again, Sente is really big. So I don't know. Let's say even. Yeah, how, does pretend. It, how does that invasion work? Does invasion? Yeah. Here, fight. This is a huge invasion. As black? Yeah. Uh, there's, two good, there's two normal answers at least. I would probably try to. Sure. Here you actually, if you want to do that, you can. Okay. Or if you really just want that shape, actually just play there. Mm, okay. But if you just push it oh, in now. That's fine. This is really done that anyway. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah, just All right. Yeah. Now he's already covered. Mm -hmm. So the normal play is for black to play here. Okay. There are two responses. One is very, one is, we'll say, hard, and one is super easy. Which one do you want to see? Oh, <laughs> super easy. White plays here. Mm -hmm. Black plays here. Oops. And you jump over and take your. Yeah, if you can get away with doing three spaces, mm -hmm. do three spaces. Okay, that's pretty nice. Well, it's just, it's just, that's a lot of points. So yeah, but before this was like. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, it looked like, like I can't invade there, right? So, so the boom. hard one is the split? The hard one. Jumping inside. It's here. Yeah. Why can I be here? Sure, you can do it here. I stretch, you connect, I get this. <laughs> what, if, <laughs> what if Flash is this? I'm just connecting. I'm free move. What? No, because now Black will come over to the right side. I'm right here. And I'm free move. Before, this stone was here. Right? Big difference. Yeah, this is. You wouldn't put a stone there now, right? Okay, well, that's what you did. I mean, even if I just take that. Yeah. But if you, if you split the way we were talking about it, can yeah. you just take a double atar here? This is the better way. Yeah, that's... This is also the hard way. Right, find the next move. Who can find the next move for black? Uh, this, this is a sequence you just have to learn at some point. Oh. <laughs> Would that be it, then? There you go, that's the better one. If he comes in, because when you do like yeah. that, you change this. No, 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 no. Do this. Oh, yeah. Right? If you, if you connect, well, probably take, right? Yeah. But if you take free Atari and connect, and then Atari, oh. and Atari, and threaten to Atari, and black can get one of these Ataris. How about that double Atari? Yeah, sure, but now these three are going to die. Has to come back and fix. I mean, that's late. Don't probably don't do that right now. Probably do that now if you want. That's a good for black. Yeah. Oh, look at this. this is solid, man. That's a solid white. That is good at 15 points. So that was that was a corner black had two stones in. So, not like that. This is what happens if you play. Love that game. You never clean by you would have done that. Here, here. 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 That's what happens if you play here. No. You cut off this dice. So black has to play here. Much tougher move. Now I have to remember what white has to do. Well, white's faster. Uh, white's about to get ladder here. Yeah. There. Oh, man. How does this move is so important? Oh, no, not important. Sorry. Uh, I don't remember anymore. Is this the point where black captures? It's still bad. That's bad for black. No, there's a better move in here. 
See, this is the part I don't remember. I need to know my Joseki. Black is the whole corner, Well, white actually has some influence now. But it's black's turn. It's black's turn, yeah. So it's, that's it's gone. No influence isn't doing anything. No, no, but you're trying just to reduce. This is reduction. Also, now this, okay. this kind of this is, this is the heart, this is like the sequence mm -hmm. that happens. Okay. Would this um, be a strong move? When black wants to punish. Right. But, hmm? Would now this be a strong move? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's black's move. And black just captures. Right. Like the How? Black doesn't need to capture. Oh, never mind. No. Black just can kind of like play anything by that. Yeah, black has to stay close. or some, do something over here. But the point is, you know, you know, white is just it's all reduced. Yeah. It's not a great sequence for white. Okay, place and go. It was here, here, and then white approach there. Yeah. That's probably not going to be enough. Alright. Yeah. Those are going to be more normal. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Good game.